Claire, we keep hearing time and time again, it is so important to the unions that they can continue to show that people will come out in the streets by the hundreds of thousands. What does the momentum feel like there? I'm seeing a really, really big effort on the part of the unions to make sure that people who come today to demonstrate have a good time. They enjoy themselves. You can see them, the unions' cars, the CFTT's union cars and vans with their big balloons blasting out music. Back behind me, these orange-clad demonstrations, all from the same union, the CFTT union. That's a reformist union. Usually the union of the CFTT tends to negotiate with the government a bit. It's a reformist union. It, it agrees to some reforms after some negotiation. This time round, the CFTT is saying absolutely not. No to 64 years. I just heard a Sean Paul song, a rendition of a Sean Paul song, when the new lyrics were, it'll always be no to 64 years. Of course, by that, the demonstrators means that the government's plans to raise the retention age from 62 to 64 is unacceptable. The government, of course, said that it's necessary in order to keep France's pension system afloat for the future. Now, Claire, a lot of people wanting to know where does this go now? Things that you're know, deadlocked, standstill as far as negotiations between the government and the unions, unable to move forward. So what are the options now going forward? The people I've been speaking to today tell me there's really two things. The first is, of course, more demonstrations like the one you can see today. More people out in the streets today across France, here in Paris, but also in the weeks to come. And, of course, next week, at the end of next week, we are looking to the Constitutional Council. We're expecting a ruling from that body, that body's decision really making is to do with whether or not this legislation is compatible with France's constitution. They could decide to scrap it altogether. They could make modifications. We don't yet know. It's a body that's shrouded in secrecy at the moment. We don't know what way that'll go, but we are expecting a ruling by the end of next week. And I have been speaking to demonstrators here today who will be listening hard and watching hard in a week's time to see what the Constitutional Council says about this piece of legislation. France 24's Claire Pacalin, a 